All right, so let's continue working on this project and we're going to style this table a little bit better, okay? Maybe we can target the, the body first, okay? We can have, let's put some space here and we can now delete this a while, I believe. We don't need that. So we got, we're going to be targeting the HTML first and the body. The reason that we're doing that is because we're going to set the, uh, the width or the height first, the height to 100%. Okay, like so. Uh, I mean, if we're going to set the background color here, uh, I have a prepared background here. It's a hex value, but you can use whatever color you want. All right, like so. And just so you know, these colors, the set of colors, I got this from colorhunt.co, I believe. Yes, there it is, colorhunt.co. So feel free to browse your uh, favorite set of colors right over here to design your web page. And for the table, if we are going to add some kind of like a shadow effect, we can target the table and you can add here like a back shadow property. Okay. The first one is the horizontal offset of the shadow, but I'm going to use uh, zero for now. Right. And the next one is the second value is going to be the vertical uh, offset of the shadow. And the third one is going to be the, the blur. Okay, I believe, let me just put that. As you can see right over there, there's a subtle shadow. So again, if you want more information about this one, you can hover over to it. As you can see, this is for uh, drop shadows to the box. So if you wanted to increase more blur, like for example, 30, uh, let's try to exaggerate it. As you can see, it's spread out, right? And uh, there's a, the fourth value is the, uh, is the color. For example, red, you can have a shadow of red, okay? So let me put this back to 20 and we have that kind of effect. And of course, we can also have a hex value here. For example, if I'm going to pick this and put it right over here, make sure we have a pound sign. Okay. And we will be able to have that kind of shadow and also an RGB value, RGBA. Okay. RGBA. Uh, the A is for the uh, opacity, right? So if we need like to have a black, uh, shadow that's going to be zero 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 right and there you have it but if you like to make it more subtle you can have the opacity to around 0 0.5 and you will have like a more subtle effect of shadow and sometimes you want that in your design and let's continue i think we're good with the table so let me just uh fix some spacing here and let's have a background color for the uh for the rows right so we can target the TH. In fact, we can actually do this. Uh, TH and TD, we're going to target them. So this padding will also be applied now on TH. And what we're, gonna, we're just going to put here a background color. of. Uh, for now, let's just uh, hover over here and look for a greenish kind of uh, color like so. All right, there you have it. And just like uh, what we have discussed here, the opacity, you can also apply it here. Maybe you can have like a 0 0.4 and we will be able to have some kind of that uh, of color. So I think we're good with the TH and TD. Let's try to target the T head, which is this one right over here. And let's just change the color for styling purposes. So let's target the T head and then the background color. Maybe we can copy this and uh hold on maybe we can have this one right over here okay pound sign and paste and let's check how does it look like i think it looks good let me maximize all right so there you have it all right and after that if you wanted to like uh, if you hover over to the row that there's kind of like a highlight effect you can do that by the hover so we can target the body remember that we have table row in the head and we have table row or TR in the body as well. So you we wanted to specify that we are navigating to the T body and we are targeting the TR in the T body. So we are trying to be very specific here because if we are only going to be using TR and then hover, all right, and let's say we're going to change the background color to, to white. Uh, maybe we can convert this into an RGBA 
folder. Let me just copy this and paste it right over here. And let's put this into white. And as you can see, hold on, let me just uh, uh, remove first the opacity. Okay, so there you go. All right, so let's save this. And as you can see, it also highlights the TH. But what we're trying to achieve is it will only highlight the row. Since TR is located in both table head and T body, that is the reason that it also highlights the T head. But if we wanted to specify that we only want the T body TRs or the TRs within the T body, we can add the T body over here and then TR. Now, if we are going to save this, if we hover over to the T head or the TH, it doesn't have that hover effect. But if we go down, now it highlights its row. All right, so I hope that makes sense. And I think we're good for now, right? And uh, if we wanted to center this table, we can talk more about centering elements later on in this course. But for now, we can achieve that by uh, using margin, okay? So in the body, let's say for example, right now we are going to center this table right over here, okay? We, we can do that by uh, targeting the table itself which is right over here we can set the margin left to auto like so and also we're going to be setting the margin uh, right to auto as well save this and if we're going to maximize this as you can see the table is now centered on the page all right so there you have it and of course for the colors you can further enhance that by doing experimentation on your end which is I also highly recommend that is the only way we develop the skill and uh, when it comes to centering elements we're gonna be talking about that later on in this course I hope that this has been informative for you see you in the next one